very important if you don't want any progression. And that's one of my goals, is that when people are getting problems with their memory, whatever stage people are in, I ask them, what if you didn't get any worse? What if you could say, as you are today, without this horror of losing your mind completely, uniformly, everyone said, yes, I would take that. So we want to do that, definitely. We use two medical plants. I chose these two because the research on them is just excellent. Medical plants aren't used by American medical doctors or neurologists. Uh, they are used, however, all over the world. These two plants have tons of research, and they're completely safe. There's one possible drug interaction with ginkgo biloba, and I'll mention that as we go through the talk. My website is drsteveblake.com. Please visit if you'd like more information. People talk a lot about antioxidants. Well, antioxidants are needed to protect the brain. They're also needed to protect every other part of our body. It's been estimated that every cell in our body experiences 10,000 to 100,000 free radical attacks every day. Okay, do the math. <laughs> That's a lot of free radical attacks, and we need these antioxidants. Now, some antioxidants come from food or supplements, and other antioxidants are made inside our bodies. The ones from food, the carotenoids, wonderful antioxidants from colorful fruits and vegetables. Vitamin C, found in fruits and vegetables, but not other places, except did you know potatoes have vitamin C? Vitamin E in the natural forms is a beneficial antioxidant, but in the synthetic form, it is of dubious benefit and possible harm. Polyphenols, this large class of protective chemicals and plants, when we talk about a plant diet, I like to talk about a whole plant diet. And I don't say plant-based, I say a whole plant diet. Because if you're eating a whole plant diet, you're getting loads of polyphenols. And these are very protective. As I mentioned, they're antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, very protective of the brain. Now, inside our bodies, we make superoxide dismutase, often abbreviated SOD. This superoxide dismutase is necessary to protect our brain cells. If we don't have it, our brain cells die. So we need it. But it won't work without three different trace minerals, zinc, copper, and manganese. And the manganese is the most important because the manganese form protects the mitochondria inside our brain cells and all other cells. This manganese form of superoxide dismutase is crucial. But are you getting enough manganese? How do you know? Well, there's three ways to know if you're getting enough manganese. You can guess, you can take manganese supplement every day, or you can analyze your diet, using my diet doctor for instance, and find out exactly how much you're getting from food, so you're neither guessing nor supplementing. And I, uh, I do both uh, analyze my diet and I also take a supplement too, just to make sure that I'm getting superoxide dismutase charged up. Now, another antioxidant enzyme that we have in our brains and elsewhere is glutathione peroxidase. You've probably heard of this. Glutathione peroxidase is this magical ability. It can take hydrogen peroxide and turn it into water, but it can't do it without selenium. You must have selenium. Is everyone sure they're getting selenium every day? Some days I do. Most days I do get it from my diet, but not every day. So I supplement, or you can guess. But it, these are crucial antioxidants that are really necessary. Now, our bodies make only one fat-soluble antioxidant to protect all the delicate membranes in our, in our brain cells, the out, outside membrane of the brain cell and the mitochondrial membranes inside the brain cell. And that, of course, is coenzyme Q10. So there are the antioxidants wrapped up for you. There are, of course, more than I've mentioned. These are the most important ones for brain health.